Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Carriage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to effectively explain our VMware infrastructure or VMware environment or VMware landscape during an interview. Okay, so this VMware infrastructure or environment landscape, some organization may, may use within the on-premises, some may have options to run on your multiple sites instead of one site they can run on two sites or more than two sites and the infrastructure components are it includes physical server vmware esxi host and we can run a multiple virtual machines and each virtual machine run with guest operating system and production applications and we can also utilize our vmware infrastructure to implement the private cloud and we can also integrate it with hyperscaler vendors like we can integrate with public cloud and we can also run on a not only single cloud we can run it on a multi-cloud environment and vmware infrastructure we can also so utilize the enterprise grade Kubernetes software, which is VMware Tanju. So this is the common landscape key components. Okay, so before jumping to this answer, I will like to give you a, some basic points so that it will be easy to understand how we can answer this question. Okay, so back to basics, virtualization infrastructure deployment sizes as we are aware the infrastructure we can divide into a multiple sizes it's the same like t-shirt sizing tiny small medium large and extra large it's completely depends on our infrastructure esxi host count and virtual machine count suppose our infrastructure have up to 10 esxi host 100 virtual machines we consider that infrastructure as a tiny size and small infrastructure means up to 100 years success host 1000 virtual machines and medium means up to 400 years success host 4000 virtual machines and large means 1000 years success host and 10000 virtual machines and extra large means it supports up to 2000 years success host and 35000 virtual machines okay and another basic point is vmware vsphere platform as we are aware, VMware is the leading provider of virtualization software. And within a virtualization, the most common virtualization software is vSphere. vSphere is used for a server virtualization. So if you see in this diagram, we have a three HPE servers. On top, we're running the ESXA operating system, ESXA 1, 2, and above the ESX, we can recreate a multiple virtual machines. So to manage multiple ESX host and virtual machines, we need a vCenter server. In other words, we call it as vCenter server appliance. So using vCenter server, we can manage multiple ESX and virtual machine. So whenever we call it as vSphere platform means it's a combination of vCenter ESX host. Okay. And another basic point is what are all the vCenter data center use cases within our vCenter server we can create a multiple data centers so we can create a data center for each organization unit in our enterprise based on any environment so some of the use cases are let's say one of the use cases within the organization we can create a data center name as site a site b and site c let's say your data center is in singapore we can say singapore location name so and so singapore location data center name and similarly other location names okay and another use case is we can also make the data center name depends on the environments like one data center name test and development another data center name is production another data center name is disaster recovery this is another use case and similarly some scenarios we may use compartment as well one data center name is management another data center name is workload data center and another scenario we can also divide it into a zone perspective so zones means we may maintain a intra Intranet management zone, intranet workload zone. That means intranet means it do not have a internet connection. And uh, another zones are internet management, internet workload. There are multiple scenarios we can maintain a data center name. It is subjected to be organization choice. Okay. Now let's talk about another basic point. 
what are the cluster use cases in vCenter 8.x? So even within our vCenter, we can create a multiple clusters. Cluster is nothing but a grouping of multiple ESXi host is nothing but a cluster. So we can make the cluster name as management cluster, some scenarios workload cluster. The difference is management cluster means this it consists of all our management infrastructure VMs. That means Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, our vCenter server, only infrastructure components we can create those virtual machine under management cluster and workloads cluster means all our production related application servers we can create it under workload cluster and another scenario test and development cluster that means the name itself we can say all test vms and development vms we can create within this cluster and Another cluster is production cluster. Whatever the, our customer project related application, all those application VMs we can create under the production cluster. And witness cluster. Some scenarios, if we are using a virtual SAN, VMware storage virtualization product, when we are using virtual SAN, we require a witness cluster. And another scenario, when we are configuring a stretch cluster also, we require a witness cluster, okay? and another scenario, DR cluster. That means this cluster dedicated for disaster recovery purposes. And another point, structured cluster. So structured cluster means it can be stretched from site A to site B uh, and vice versa, site B to site A. And non-stretched cluster, that means this, uh, this cluster is not stretched to the secondary site and web cluster. That means this cluster consists of all the web servers and a DBL and DBO cluster. If you have a DBL cluster, that means this cluster consists of database servers. L means SQL, SQL servers. DBO means Oracle. That is some standard naming conventions usually organizations follow. If your organization following different naming conventions, similarly, we can also use the naming convention. I'm just giving you some examples how usually organization, they place the cluster names. Okay, and another cluster, app cluster. That means this cluster consists of all the application servers. And the DB cluster, it consists of mix of all the database servers. And the shared service cluster, shared services is nothing but a SMTP, SFTP, FTP, all these kind of services, file servers is considered as a shared services cluster. And admin cluster. Admin cluster is also similar like a management cluster, but admin cluster, there may be some dedicated administrator related VMs like monitoring servers. And edge and other cluster. That means this cluster dedicated to providing a edge services applications. Okay. So this is the common cluster naming when we are using a vCenter server. Now, let me give you a high level overview. What is the solution architecture, software and hardware components and integration? Okay. So solution course, when we have a one organization architecture, either a on-premises solution architecture or private cloud architecture or integrated with a public cloud, these components are usually commonly used. And infrastructure management means how we are managing our hardware. So in order to connect to a single server, if you have a HPE server, for single server remote management, we use ILO, integrated lights out. For multiple HPE servers remote management, we can use HPE one view. And compute, compute in our organization to manage all our ESXi hosts, we should follow one model. Just for our easy understanding, I took one of the model DL380 Gen 10 Plus and the latest version Gen 11. So either you can use a N-1 version or latest version. And storage, we have a different types of models, HPE, Primera, Nimble, 3PAR, and latest one, Alatra, 6K, 9K, and 5K models. So at least within our solution, we should have one sto primary storage and one secondary storage, HPE store ones. Store ones generally used for a secondary storage purpose. It will be useful for backup and restoration purposes and on-premises area only. And the network, we require a top of the rack switch, TOR switch. And one example model is Aruba 8325. And we also need a management switch to connect all our ESXi host ILO connectivity. That is Aruba 6300M model. Okay. And another component, hypervisor. Hypervisor within our VMware, we are using latest version ESXi 8.x. That means 8.0 update 1 or update 2. 
and guest to operating systems we are using windows rhl red hat enterprise linux solaris and virtual appliances and some organization they may use more than additional operating systems also there is a possibility and the platform management we sent a server to manage our esxi host and virtual machines and for within our platform in order to automate our day to task we can use aria automation and if you want to move it to from on premises to private cloud or expanding to the hybrid cloud journey exploring to hybrid cloud journey we can also utilize another vmware product that is called vcf vmware cloud foundation 4.5 or latest version 5.1 and for the network hypervisor we can use nsx 4.x series and for the management of all the platform monitoring and all we can use vmware aria operations and we can also have a dedicated product for network aria operations for network formally we call it as v relays network insight okay apart from this within our core solution component we can also use some integration components that integration components include backup and replication i given three examples comvault veeam and cohesity any organization definitely they will use one backup tool backup and replication tool and enterprise logging they can use any one syslog centralized log management server that can be a elastic search kibana fluentd or vmware official aria operation for logs and enterprise monitoring we can use prometheus grafana or vmware official tool is aria operations and formally we call it as vr ops we relays operations manager and it service management this is specifically for a one example is service now uh, in short form we call it as snow this service now will helpful for a service request change request and incident management okay so this is the high level overview of our commonly used our arcus organization solution architecture software and hardware components and also the integrations now let me going to the actual key topic of today how to effectively explain our vmware infrastructure so in order to explain this question first we should know about our infrastructure so most of the time organization they have infrastructure on either single data center or multiple data center active active or some scenario active passive data centers and some organization may use dedicated private cloud or some organization may use combination of private and public we call it as hybrid cloud and whatever the organization we have either on premises single data center or multiple data center or private cloud the most common infrastructure components are compute that means within our rack we can have a multiple servers to, in order to communicate between all these servers we need a network equipment top of the rack switches as well as management switch and we also need a storage that storage can be used in a physical storage fiber channel san or we can use iscsi san or some organization based on the budget constraints they may also use a network attached storage some scenarios they may go for a hca solution as well hca solution means we can use vmware virtual san okay so but we should have a key components of infrastructure is compute network and storage and above that to manage our virtual infrastructure one of the key component is vcenter server appliance and vcenter server most of the time organization may not have one vcenter they can have a multiple vcenter servers and esx also we can have a multiple esx and within our vcenter we can configure multiple clusters as i mentioned clusters we can create n number of clusters you can dedicate a cluster for development and testing one cluster production one cluster application one cluster if you want to create create a stretch cluster you can create a name as a stretch cluster 1 2 3 and so on so cluster names n number of clusters we can create so virtual machines also we can create n number of virtual machines all should be power on state and we within a virtual machine we can run a operating system and we can run the applications so when we are asked this question we should aware how many esx host we have how many v centers we have how many clusters we have how many virtual machine we have this infrastructure component count we have to explain in the interview okay that is my key point here and some organizations they already started using enterprise grade kubernetes tanju some organization they are planning still in the planning stage okay so we should also aware of kubernetes that is tanju and some organizations they may as i mentioned they may use physical storage or they can use hci solution that is one of the example is virtual san 
okay and we should also maintain we should have a idea on how we can take the backup of our virtual infrastructure all the virtual machines this can be used any one software backup software and disaster recovery also we should have one solution name like vmware srm and for automation we realize automation um, for monitoring, we realize operations manager, log insight for syslog management, and lifecycle manager for update and upgrades, and NSXT or latest version NSX specifically for network virtualization. So these are the most commonly used VMware infrastructure component. So now coming to the key point is here I am giving a sample answer. When the interviewer asks this question, we should start from this sequence. We can start from here. In, in my current environment, we have two active active data centers and four vCenters in total, two vCenters per site. Okay. And we have four clusters within each vCenter total, four into four, 16 clusters. So you can explain these counts clearly. I just given a one example, okay? And ESXA host, 120 ESXA host per data center. So making it 320 ESXA host in total and over 3000 virtual machines. And it include test, development, production, and environment, and VM include various servers like web, app, DB, and running with Windows Server 2019, 2022, and RHL 8 series version, and Solaris VMs, and some are the virtual appliances. And for coming to the backup and restore, we are using a V. I just given three example, whatever the backup tool you are using in your environment, you can highlight the specific version, specific uh, vendor name you can highlight. And disaster recovery purposes, VMware SRM is active for disaster recovery purposes. And for day-to-day -day task act automation, we are using ARIA automation. And for centralized syslog management, we are using ARIA login site, or formally we call it as VRLI. And for the update and upgrades, lifecycle manager and for network virtualization NSX. Even if you want to elaborate these counts also, we can elaborate. Generally, ARIA automation is required. One tool is enough to manage two data centers. And even syslog and server also, one server is enough to manage two sites. And uh, similarly for LCM, even NSX one site, we can stretch between the two sites. And some scenarios, you can maintain your two NSX managers as well. So if your count is two, you can include the specific counts. I given a sample answer how we can elaborate the answer when they ask for a we our infrastructure landscape. Okay, and future plans also we have to include. So planning to migrate some application to container apps via VMware Tangent. Okay, this is how we can explain effectively communicating these points will showcase the strength and density of our VMware infrastructure during the interview and whatever the components we discussed vmware key components those are if you are interested to learn i already covered within our channel so log into youtube and search with our channel name grand cloud garage and go to the playlist tab you can find all the playlists specific to the vmware vspr aria automation and some interview preparation one and tanju portfolio some of the modern data production solutions and in addition, there are some other concepts as well. Okay, so just explore this, uh, all these concepts. That's it for today. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Grand Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.